Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Within. When we last left off it was uh, 2nd of April, new month, uh, we have spent uh, money on lots of stuff like thermo generator and workshop and some excavation project as well and basically uh, building a lot of satellites and so on. Everything's prepared for just fast forwarding time and scanning for activity. Okay, project finished, code name is Skunkworks, Experimental Warfare. As we continued our research into the alien weapon fragments and the other materials recovered from the field, we've come to realize how the aliens managed to make these substances work in conjunction with one another. While reducing the size of these components is often a challenge in itself, we decided to focus our initial efforts on a weapon more suited to deployment on our interceptors. This cannon was designed to concentrate energy within a small target area and should be capable of punching through the armored hulls of the alien craft. In addition, we've passed a number of interesting conceptual designs onto the engineering team. Dr. Shen seems confident that given the appropriate resources and testing facility, he can bring many of these concepts to life. So we have the Reaper rounds. Experimental ballistics have led to the specialized conventional weapon load. It can cause substantial extra damage to affected targets, but the additional casing elements make it less accurate at long range. The rounds will not work with pistols though. So better ammo basically. Foundry. Develop new combat items or improve current items in the foundry. This facility counts as a workshop for adjacency benefits. All right, we can build that as well, eventually. Phoenix Cannon. The Phoenix Cannon is capable of delivering massive burst damage, but its limited range puts the Interceptor at greater risk during combat. And last but not least, Flashbang Grenade. This, this grenade-style weapon emits a disorienting flash of light with accompanying sounds. Any enemies that can see the blast will be disoriented, suffering severe penalties to aim and movement. Robotic and psionic enemies are immune. Good. Let's continue with... Um, alien nav computer? Sure. That's fine. Can't build anything really. I think... Unless we want to... Now we need the money for uplink. So scan for more activity. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Excellent. So now we can go and complete the pending request from China. Gives us 200 credits. Excellent. Transfer satellite. Uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. Uh, I don't want to deploy it. I just want to transfer it to China. Satellite. Satellite uplink facilities. Oh, at really? Capacity. Additional uplink required. Really, game? Oh, man. So we can't do this. That's a bummer. All right. Complete. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. All right, we have abductions. We're several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. And it's in Brazil with scientists um, Cairo giving us money and China giving us engineers. A very difficult mission, though. Well, I guess there's no doubt about where are we going to go. We don't need scientists, we would need money, but Egypt is fine. And we need engineers more than anything else. So let's go to China, I guess. Yeah. We need to go to China. So. Who wants to come with us? And uh, actually, what I need to do 
is um, put some names on these rookies, right? Definitely. I also want to uh, put these uh, special characters away from you because they don't fit. So, can she roll? Like this, confirm. And he asked for uh, race number three, head number three, skin color one, helmet 15, and hair color 12. Hope you're happy, Kenshiro. Looks much more like you. Next, we have Pralinor. And I will just put a uh, dot over here because you can't uh, leave it empty. Excellent, uh, Sawyer Jones. Also get rid of these special characters. That's fine. Steely Magnolia as well. That's fine. Next, Kyot Lake. Like this. Next, Kriegel. No last name. And now we have our rookies. So first one will be Sariel Ever. Welcome to the team, man. Or woman. <laughs> That's okay. Next one is Santino. That's all right. Number three is uh, Tony Kingston. Wanted to be a mech, I believe. Uh, Santino wanted to be uh, heavy. <laughs> I'm not sure what the other people wanted to be. Then we have uh, Carlos. And um, DDs as well. Confirm. And we are back uh, to Snailman. So we have a very difficult uh, mission. So we should take uh, experienced crew, but I will take uh, one rookie as well. Where can we where can we do this? I'm not sure. And we do have medals as well, which I haven't used yet. So let's assign a power. Never panic as a result of allies getting wounded or killed. Or medicates and restorative mist heal 2 HP more when used on the soldier. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with no panic. And uh, let's rename the medal to no panic. And award it to, well, good question. I don't want my support people to panic because they will be healing others, right? So the first medal goes to either Kriegel or Steely Magnolia or Sawyer Jones. It's going to Steely Magnolia. At ease, soldier. Excellent. So that's cool. I guess I have to accept that mission before I can equip my people. So once again, Brazil scientists, no. Cairo money would be really nice, but we need to go to Shanghai, China, otherwise they will panic. Very difficult, but will give us engineers. Confirm. 
and now oh uh, so squaddy dot okay <laughs> uh, then I need to rename you once again and give you first name dot not last name dot looks like it uh, oh man why does it have to suck <laughs> like this all right so clear 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 and let's start adding units so heavy yes we need at least one heavy Kyot Lake was with us on last mission so let's take snail man assault I think that's uh, there's no doubt about that we don't need assault we will take um, a sniper as well. We need at least one support and Steely Magnolia or Kriegel would do good. You have that medal, but I want Kriegel actually this time. That's fine. And let's take Karuki. I guess um, in no particular order, so let's take... Um, Sariel ever okay now you told me that this makes um, items on not selected soldiers available which is perfect I accept and now assault and heavy should have the HP boost that's fine sniper and support support needs uh, medkit So support, medicate, all right. Uh, rookie. <laughs> rookie, I will leave the grenade on you, probably, or we could take the nanofiber vest as well, increase your survivability, or we can do the arc thrower and try to capture an enemy. However. It's a very difficult mission. So, grenade is fine, I guess. A grenade on a sniper is not so cool. So, maybe sniper, you could take that um, scope. Sure. Alright, so... HP, HP, scope, medikit, and um, a guaranteed kill. Alright, so what kind of weapons do you have? You have um, LMG, that's fine. Shotgun is good. Somebody told me I can also play with a assault rifle. But I somehow like the shotgun on my guys, so that's fine. Sniper rifle and pistol is a no-brainer, I guess. Assault rifle on Sawyer. Oh, Sawyer is not even coming with us. Wait a moment. How does this work? I want to just look at these five. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So what kind of abilities do we have? Crickle has just smoke grenade. Uh, Rookie has nothing. Our sniper has just a headshot. You have a run and gun and tactical sense. What does tactical sense do? Five defense. That's good. And we have also a sergeant. Which has fire rocket, nice suppression and bullet swarm. Standard shots with the primary weapon no longer end the turn, so we can we can shoot twice. Yeah, you will be very very useful for us. Okay. Current objective: capture a live alien. But um, 
I will be happy if we just finish this mission successfully. So let's uh, launch and hope for the best. Touching down. All right, begin assault. Operation Dark Father. Government forces have reported a coordinated alien attack in a densely populated neighborhood. They're counting on us to secure the area. That's fine, understood. A soldier who survived uh, a critical wound can recover but suffers a permanent reduction to will. Okay. Meld and hostiles. Okie dokie. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. All right, this is the edge. Excellent. And we can go two ways. So first we will position our... Our assault guy, right? We'll be going this way, I think. Probably. So you can dash all the way there. Open fire. Excellent, you have spotted some people already. And we can most probably kill them. So I'd say one shot with a sniper. Oh, we don't have the squad site yet. I was told that <laughs> I should try to get that as soon as possible. That's fine though. Let's move uh, a little bit. No, we still can't see them. That's all right. That's all right. How far can you throw a grenade? A grenade can go not very far. All right, so then just um, move um, some more. I'd say we shall position our support like there. Okay. We shall position our rookie. Uh, not sure where. So then our heavy. Our heavy has 10 hit points basically. He could fire a rocket. And that would probably take care of these two. Uh, no, it wouldn't. But if I go here. Why can't you move? Oh, there's already somebody there. You are in real camouflage, dear sniper. Dashing over there, not what I want. Over here. And then I can shoot, most likely. I'm not really sure if I want to uh, use the rocket, though. It's just sectoids. Uh, we are in cover. Nah, just dash over there. That's fine. You can switch to this and go on overwatch with the pistol, or you could hunker down. Go on overwatch though. And Sariel, you could dash here. That's also full cover. So let's do that. Bring it on. Do your worst. That's your worst. Two damage only. We can do two damage with a pistol. 
And now it will be really good to have the... Uh, what should I call it? <laughs> the arc thrower. Well, fine. So, we have a shotgun. It has uh, 53%, 20 critical. Hmm. Run and gun, overwatch. Uh, okay. We'll try to... Kill that guy as well. Not with a pistol though. Forty-five percent, that's one in two. Hmm. Or we could just throw a grenade. Make sure our rookie gets a promotion. That's that's an easy one, right? Or we want to maybe save it for a better opportunity. I don't know. So, headshot, really, no, just fire, 45 is good enough. He's down. Squaddy has earned a promotion, Squaddy Dot, <laughs> okay, I think that's you, Pralinor, who has earned a promotion, we still have the second guy. Let's try with the rookie. 45. No, it's a miss. That's fine, rookie. That's fine. You'll get your chance. I guess we just... Oh, that's a dash. Okay. Is that a, a flank? I'm not sure. He's an overwatch, so... Let's try a pistol. Should be enough, really. Target still up. It's a miss. So now we can be worried a little bit. Suppression, fire, overwatch, fire, rocket. How much? 49. Well, we missed twice already, so this one has to hit. Or... Or it doesn't. Missed. And you don't see anything. Hmm. Oh, you can still shoot? Oh yeah, you have this, uh, this uh, very nice ability. So shoot again. And this is a kill, right? Yes, it is. Down. Excellent. So, Kriegel, you'll take a position. Right here. Can't see anyone. That's fine. We can either go or on Overwatch, I mean, or hunker down. And, um, or we can just move as well. And uh, we can also heal wounds. No target in medicate range, okay. You need to be healed up, but um, you have uh, enough hit points, so we don't worry about that just yet. I'd say uh, go on Overwatch. Yeah, das ist doch Riesenkacke. <laughs> Very nice quote, Kriegel, there. So, we have seen... Uh, we have seen Seekers before, and we know what to do. Uh, basically, Overwatch with everybody. Until they come closer and we take care of them, because they are invisible. And we have no way of... Uh, spotting them so as uh, dumb as it is everybody needs to go on overwatch and not with a pistol though overwatch with your main weapon yes rookie you have your main weapon don't need to reload just yet overwatch 
and uh, you need to reload eventually, but let's overwatch first. Mr. Snailman. And I hope you can actually see over here. Uh, switch to this weapon. What, what, what has just happened? I didn't do overwatch with him. Yeah, but now a second will come and you all have already shot. That alien is unusually human in its appearance. They could be using it as an infiltration unit of some kind. I'd recommend capturing it for further analysis. Alright, well we still have a second seeker. So we need to first move you into cover, or sort of cover. That's affirmative. Target acquired. Oh, they move? I could fire a rocket there. <laughs> but uh, just reload. Back online. That's fine. Now you need to move into better cover over here. Because they will come closer. I'm on the move. So that's fine. And switch to the pistol. Go on overwatch because there's a second seeker. Then um, you need to move back as well. You have enough ammo. Yes, you do. And overwatch. Then... Uh, hmm. That's you can go here. And Overwatch. And Rookie. Rookie actually sees someone. <laughs> good job, Rookie, but that's uh, not a good time now. So you are in cover, you are in cover. Everybody's in cover, more or less. That's dashing. Don't want to do that. Um, dashing, dashing. Let's move over here. Headed there now. And Overwatch. We need to get rid of that Seeker. We can't get more aggressive be before we get rid of that creature. And it doesn't want to... It doesn't want to show up. So, you know what? Um, switch. And everybody basically on Overwatch. I can't do anything with that Seeker around. I hope we'll get some sort of... Um, you know, like... Uh, possibility to, to see them, even if they are invisible. Because this just sucks <laughs> right now. Alright, I could... Uh, send a rocket this way, but... There it is! And it's down. Excellent, so now we can go on the offensive. No, no, you're not gonna be sick, don't worry. We're gonna heal you. Um, our sniper can most likely... Up to 5 damage. Sure. Critical! Okay, now... We need to heal up Mr... Well, we need to move him away from there, so you need to move basically here. It, and uh, heal wound, stabilize. I don't know if heal wound will actually 
do what I want to do. But he has three wounds anyway, so... Let's do it. Use medicate on this guy, I'd say so. Use the medicate to heal 4 HP. Well, then I would say we can wait one turn in case it doesn't remove the poison. Yeah. Alright, so you're exposed over here, but not so badly. I guess, Rookie, you could... Um, Meld lost already? Oh. You could... That's all because of the bloody Seekers. Rookie, you need to reload. It's killing time. Yes, it is. Don't worry. Then, Mr. Snailman... Hmm. Good question. I don't want you there in the open. Will do. Come here. You, however, are fine. Reload. Right again. And you can also reload. Let's rock. <laughs> Enemy in sight, shooting at our uh, sniper for some reason. But they missed. And there's another one who also tries to shoot. And has poisoned us. That's okay though. So, how shall we do this? You have now... I mean, you have now... Ah, yeah, so it takes... You take damage. Okay, good to know. Now, they are relatively nicely positioned there. So I could do um, a grenade kill. They have both uh, shot at us already. So, Sariel, if you just move over here... Don't dash. Aye, aye. You can see both of them. And you will frag both of them. Alright. Oh, it's just out of... Just out of reach, that guy. Oh. That's sad. Alright. So, then just... Um, Kill that one, I guess. Excellent. Did you get a promotion or not? I don't know. In any case, um, we now need our sniper with a 25% chance to, <laughs> to do something. That's not gonna help us too much, I guess. Okay, you can run and gun, and you can dash all the way here. Yeah, so run and gun. Stick and move, stick and move. Stick and move. And are you able to see them from... Oh, that car will explode, though. From over there. From over here. That's full cover. Well, let's try. Okay, you do see them. It's 25% only as well. With a pistol, it's also 25% only. So... A miss. No, that is not good. That is not good, yes, I agree. We could try to do a rocket. 
Hmm. So. We need to heal you up. So, come here. You can come here. And heal wound. Yes. Oh, it does uh, cure the poison. Excellent. Excellent. So now you're at full health. Uh, you can't fire the rocket anymore. But you can move at least. Uh, and we will move um, there. I'm on it, Commander. You can even see that guy. Okay. Now, you're hurt, aren't you? Yes, you have... You're poisoned, actually. Uh, we might uh, be in real danger here. I don't want to lose my sniper. All of you have enough HP. You will lose one more next turn. So we need to... We need to go away with you. Stupid Seekers at the beginning. I I think nobody will try to come from there, right? Hmm. Or I can just dash over here. That's also not a bad idea. I need to reload too. So let's just move back one step and reload your weapon. That's fine. Let's see how much damage he can do. Well, Rook is hurt. And yes, that one exploded. If if this one didn't explode, we could have uh, done run and gun over here and kill him. Unfortunately, that was not possible. So um, now, shotgun still only 25%. But if we go like here, I believe, we should be able to see that guy. No? I hope so. Alright, 53 is uh, so much better, but uh, you can still miss, I know, I know. So will this explode once again? <laughs> That's the question, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we could use a rocket, 29% is not the best. So, Rookie, you don't have a grenade anymore, but um, come as close as you can. Floaters, alright. And that's not good <laughs> at all. We need to go back that's affirmative. into cover. And now question is, fire rocket. Can you fire it on all these guys? Let's try. Firing rocket. Killed two, excellent. But now, now that other guy can actually hit us. So you have like, how much? You have enough. You have very little. 
can't hunker down for some reason. Oh, you have already expanded all your all your movements. You have expanded your movements as well. Everybody expanded their movements. So we now have only the healer. Smoke grenade. I think that's not a bad idea actually. But uh, first move a bit closer. Like there. Oh, now you can see it. 30%. Smoke grenade or uh, chance to kill him. Chance to kill him. It's a miss. Daneben geschossen. Well, you need to improve your aim. And... Um, with you, you are losing that health like crazy. We'll try to dash over here. I don't know if he can see us from there. I need that squad sight. Or over there is also okay. And switch to pistol. No, actually, go and uh, go and hunker down. All right, we have a floater. This guy goes away. Too scared of us. Even more. What a coward. Second meld lost as well, but you know what? I don't care. Rookie, 65% now. That's what I'm talking about. Do it. Critical. And you must have now a nice promotion. So, you cannot do run and gun just yet. So I'd say... Move a little bit closer. Now you can see them. And... Um, it's 13%. That's, that's no good, right? I think this one's not gonna explode anymore. You do not have a grenade. You do have enough hit points. Hunker down over there. Now, this guy... Okay, you have moved already. We don't want to set up more traps how much HP do you have you're at full Got it. go dash Ooh. over here now the sniper will move further basically as far as you can mr. sniper Affirmative. Moving out. We still haven't moved from our initial position for some reason. Um, I guess the reason is uh, they didn't even give us much choice, right? And you could move a little bit, but with no cover. So instead, how much HP do you have? Seven, that's fine. Move right there. What? I, I didn't do anything. Soldiers outside. No, continue mission. What the heck? Incoming fire. Okay, hunker down worked. That's excellent. And we do see them. 13% chance is not the best. But we have run and gun again. So, let's... Ha. Um... <laughs> if I miss... 
Nah, you don't want to live forever, right? Let's uh, run and gun. And I'd say over there is uh, as good place as any. He's uh, he's down 100%. Oh yeah. Objectives completed. Very good. 10 aliens killed, zero operatives lost, uh, unfortunately no melt, but um, the aliens were a bit more aggressive this time, so I guess that's good. Uh, let's continue. And everybody gets promotions, that's perfect. So, Squaddy Pralinor has been promoted to Corporal. Congratulations, you get Snapshot or Squad Sight. What does Snapshot do? Removes the sniper's rifle restriction on firing and overwatch after moving. Any shots taken suffer penalty. I don't want a penalty. Uh, allows firing at targets at any ally sight radius, but the these targets cannot be critically hit unless using headshot. Oh, still this is very useful. So, yes, you get squad side. Good job, Pralinor. Then we have Kanshiro promoted to Sergeant. Lightning reflexes forces the first reaction shot against this unit each turn to miss. Wow, that's good. And close and personal, or up close and personal, I guess. The first standard shot made within four tiles of the target does not cost an action. Cannot combine with run and gun. The first standard shot made within four tiles of the target does not cost an action. So the first shot, if we are close enough to someone, doesn't cost anything. Mm. I think I'll take lightning reflexes anyway. Then Sariel Ever has been promoted to a sniper. Congratulations. You now are able to do headshots. What does HP3 slash 5 mean? The other guys don't have this, I think. And we have Sergeant Snail Crash Man, <laughs> also wounded. Has been promoted to Lieutenant, though. Wow, you're picking up these uh, promotions like nobody's business. So, Heat Ammo confers 50% damage increase against robotic enemies. So, I guess floaters and things like that, and also against Seekers, I would say, or a rapid reaction. Confers a second reaction shot if on overwatch and the first reaction shot is a hit. So if you hit, you can do another one, but uh, heavy will not be so much on reactions. I will be running forward with him and will be using the bullet swarm instead of the rapid reactions. So, uh, heat ammo it is. Confirm. Excellent. Let's continue. The Urban Combat Badge is now unlocked. Visit the barracks to designate a special capability for this medal. Rename it and award it to a soldier. International Service Cross also available. I do accept. Sure. Additional awards. Additional awards are available for the following medals. No panic. Wow, we got so many medals. New research available. Finn Man. That's fine. Some sectoid corpses, floater corpses, Finn Man corpses, weapon fragments, and sectoid wrecks. That's cool. New facility available. Workshop. Excellent. Each workshop adds five engineers to our staff. Adjacency bonus. So, we are already building a workshop. Why do they tell us that uh, this happens? 
But good to know that we get five engineers from that, so may want to build more. The XCOM squad deployed to China has successfully stopped the alien abduction in Shanghai. China is deeply grateful and your, for your help and hopes that these rewards will be of use to the XCOM project. Oh yes. Panning has increased across Africa and panning has increased across South America. Nothing I can do about that. We will be in touch, Commander. Oh, I, I'm sure you will be. Commander, you can now honor our soldiers by awarding them medals for accomplishments you deem appropriate. You can view and award medals in the barracks. Oh yes, we'll definitely, definitely do that. So, let's do the medals. Urban Combat Badge. Assign power. Plus 5 defense when in cover. Plus 5 aim against enemies in full cover. Well, that's a good question. I don't know. More aim against enemies in full cover. We'll be flanking them and using grenades, rockets and things like that. Let's take the defense. And rename this to... Can't touch me. <laughs> okay. Award the medal to somebody who will be a lot up front and that will be our heavies and assaults so either Kenshiro or Kyot Lake or Snailman I think I'll give it to the assault Yes. At ease, soldier. Good job. And we have International Service Cross as well. Assign power plus two will per different nationality in the squad, or plus two aim per continent bonus XCOM has earned. So that's plus 10 maximum, but this will take some time. And probably applies only to one soldier. We'll have snipers. Plus two will. I guess will is also pretty important. But we already have that no panic thingy. Yeah, let's uh, let's assign the will and rename metal to well uh, goodwill. <laughs> Confirm. Award the medal, and we want um, well. Steely Magnolia will not uh, panic if um, other people get hurt. And if I increase her will, she will also not panic uh, for other reasons. So I think I will pump her up and give her this one as well. Two medals, girl. Good job. And no panic can be awarded as well. To another support, I would say. And that will be either Skriggle or Sawyer Jones. Hmm. Well... Heavy Sniper Sniper, no. So, let's put it on... Sawyer Jones. Nice goatee there. 
Congratulations, soldier. You've earned it. Okay. Now, we need to rename people again. So, since we can't very well see both names, uh, we'll put everything in the last name. So, first name will be a dot, and last name will be Kenshiro. Sawyer Jones has two names, that's fine. Steely Magnolia Kriegel. You need a first name to be a dot, last name to be Kriegel. Sorry for doing this on camera, but we have only five minutes left, so we might as well do this. Uh, dot and Kyot Lake. Dot Santino. Tony Kingston is fine. Carlos. Dot. There. All right. The T's confirm. Next, Snailman is fine. Pralinor. Confirm. I think that's it. We have been there already. So, yeah, much better, I guess. Sergeant Kenshiro, Sergeant or Squaddy Sawyer Jones, Squaddy Magnolia. We have nine people, which is still good enough. And the wound recovery is not so bad. Ten days, it's okay. Yeah. Good. So... Research is going on, right? Yeah, two days for the alien nav computer. That's fine. In engineering. This morning, Commander. We're ah, true. To have more help down here. True, we have ten engineers now. So we can build that satellite uplink even without the workshop. Oh, actually we can't because we need the thermo generator. Yeah, we don't have enough power. Okay, go back. We'll wait for the thermo generator and the workshop, I guess, to build that uplink. Hangar situation room. Let's let's have a look. How bad is it? China is fine. Uh, went down with the panic. Japan, India, and Australia are still panicking. Argentina and Brazil will be probably the countries I will save at the end of the month. I wanted to save uh, or save cover with satellites Canada and Mexico because uh, they would give us a nice bonus. I could buy a lot more craft. But I guess we'll do that month after this. And we'll, we'll save Argentina and Brazil instead. Negative. That equipment should be passed on directly to the research team. Egypt is still okay. No countries in red. I I like that. So mission control, thermo generator and workshop will be done soon. I guess that's the thermo generator probably. Thermo generator online. Yes it is. And the workshop is not done yet, so let's, or actually let's build, no, no, because workshop may uh, make it cheaper for us to build it, I think. It was one hundred, how much was it? Satellite uplink, 100. Maybe if we have a workshop, it will be refund on resources foundry project and facilities yes we will get the refund so let's wait one more day for that workshop
additional workshop online. Excellent. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Exactly. Now, 15 engineers is much, much better than the five we started with and six we had just, you know, at the beginning of this episode, we had six. So, satellite uplink right there. Oh, it still costs 100. Why would that be? Five power. We have how much? We have 22 power available. So, no-brainer, right? Begin construction. Why is it not cheaper? It said we would have... That's bad. Time to build ETA 14 days and it's 11th of April. So it should be done before the end of the month. That's good. Uh, 15 every month. Satellite out. Begin. All right. And we didn't get a refund. Hmm. Strange. Access lift for 50. That's fine. So, if I wanted another uplink. I would need 20 engineers and I have 15. So I need five more engineers for another satellite uplink. Okay. We could do a foundry though. I don't think we need a lab. Workshop would be nice. Then we can do another satellite uplink. Power generator, foundry can be done, cybernetics lab, genetics lab, costs only 50 actually. I may want to do cybernetics lab. Here we will be able to build mechanized exoskeletal cyber suits and augment soldiers to wear them. This facility counts as a workshop for adjacency benefits. So maybe we can get like um, some money somewhere. Best, I guess, on the gray market. And we have Illyrium and Alloys, which we could sell 50. I won't get rid of the corpses, I don't have too many. Probably will need alloys as well. I don't know about Illyrium. So we need uh, 50 minus 17 is 40, 33. That's 11 Illyrium. Hmm. You tell the men we can't have them bringing back alien body parts as souvenirs. It's a breach of protocol. They can bring whatever they want. 11, we'll still have 40. Yeah, complete the transaction. And we'll build the Mac thingy. build facilities so counts for adjacency bonus so build it here I guess right can we build things on uh, on steam I don't know <laughs> then uh, we will have another satellite uplink we already have the satellites right and well, even if I started building them now, it wouldn't help. Let me just check that. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. We have two available. Additional uplink required. But one is being built. Okay. So we will have three. 
that means I can build a facility here. We have enough power for now. Okay. So we wanted the cybernetics lab, I guess. Power is no problem. This is annexed to the research labs, but I don't have any research labs yet, so I don't know where the adjacency will be put. So I will I will wait for this and benefit from the workshop adjacency bonus instead by building the cybernetics lab. Yes. 10 days. Oh, will cost 20 every month. That's a lot of money. But it will give us some sort of adjacency bonus. Uh, and we want to see it in action, right? Let's begin construction. And now we have zero money. So I guess that's the best time to end the episode. <laughs> okay. So 12 scientists, 15 engineers. Um, in the officer training school. Oh. We need a captain. And Mr. Snailman is a lieutenant. And we'll be captain next time. Okay. That's gonna work nicely, I guess. I wonder if I should... Hmm. You know, the thing is, I wanted to save uh, North America because they would make it much cheaper for me to buy more craft. I could have two at each base, basically, or at each continent. But unless we have something to decrease at least one of these countries... Well, actually, if they don't turn red at the end of the month, I could still go for these. However, if I take those, I will have the uh, free We're research projects at the moment, but we may need for to autopsies and live aliens. That would also be huge. So let me know, what do you think? Should I go for the bonus uh, of um, cheaper craft and their maintenance? Or should I go for the bonus of uh, free autopsies and interrogations? I am a little bit... Uh, well, not a little bit. I can't decide basically right now. <laughs> anyway, let's end it here. And when we come back, um, three soldiers are wounded, so new people will go on the mission. Yay! <laughs> Till then, bye-bye.